What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to revive your classic Mac Pro. So this is going to work for anybody that has a Mac Pro 3.1 to a 5.1. So that's your early 08 to mid 2012. If you have the mid 06 or the mid 07, which is the 1.1 or the Mac Pro 2.1, this will not work for you because you have a 32-bit firmware limitation. So to do this, we're going to be utilizing OpenCore Legacy Patcher. I'm going to throw some requirements up on the screen right here. So if you have a 3.1, uh, you will have needed to upgrade your USB from 1.1 to either 2.0 or higher. And they recommend that you remove your Bluetooth card to avoid any kind of kernel panics. If you have an 0.9 to a 2012, this is going to work uh, just fine for you. This is assuming that you've upgraded your video card to one that supports metal. And here's a list of metal compliant video cards taken straight from the Apple's website. Uh, for those of you who may be uh, unsure if your video card is metal compliant. Things we're going to need, we're going to need a USB thumb drive that's 16 gig or larger. And you're also going to need a uh, internet connection so that we can download the software that we need to do this. Okay, so switching over to the Mac Pro, the first thing we need to do is open up a web browser and we're going to go to the OpenCore Legacy Patcher website and I'll throw the link down in the description below for you guys. So once you get here, you're going to scroll down and click on Getting Started and from there we need to go to Download and Build Mac OS Installers right here on the left. But before we do that, I just want to show you guys the uh, system settings that I have for my Mac Pro. So I am running a Mac Pro 4.1 that I have flashed to a 5.1 firmware. That's why it says early 09. And as you can see, I do have a metal compliant graphics card. Moving over to the download and build Mac OS installer section, we're going to want to uh, scroll down and click on the link underneath creating the installer that says open core legacy patcher release apps so once we click on that it's going to take us to uh, the various version releases and as of the making of this video the latest version is 0 0.4.3 and so we will scroll down and we will have a couple of different options here so we have the the GUI and then the one that says TUI, the difference is you're either going to get a graphical interface you can click on buttons, which is the top two, and the bottom two is like the uh, old school open core, which is just going to be using terminal. Uh, for this, since the Mac Pro is using legacy uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth drivers, I highly recommend that we download uh, the offline version because once you upgrade to Mac OS Monterey, if that's the version you choose to upgrade to, your Bluetooth and your Wi-Fi are no longer going to work and you're gonna need this program in order to patch your computer to get it to work. So for the purposes of this video, I went ahead and downloaded the OpenCore Patcher GUI version, uh, also the offline one. Uh, so when we download it and open it up, it's going to look like this. And from here, we're gonna click on Create Mac OS Installer. And then uh, I don't have it, obviously, because this computer is not compatible with Monterey, so I'm going to click Download, and that's going to pull down the catalog of different uh, files we can get from Apple. At this point in time, you can go ahead and plug in your USB thumb drive, and once this populates the catalog, I'm going to select uh, Mac OS 12.3 which is the latest version of Monterey, and it's all the way here at the bottom. But as you can see here, you could pick any one of these uh, that you'd like. From here, it's just going to go ahead and download that file from the Apple server. It is a very big file, uh, so we're going to go ahead and speed this up, and we'll be back as soon as it's done. So once it's done downloading, we'll see a screen that looks like this. It says, finished installing Mac OS 12.3 with a button below it that says flash installer so we're going to go ahead and click that and then from here we want to just select the installer so for whatever reason you had more than one in our case we don't so we're just going to click install mac os monterey 12.3 and then on this screen you want to make sure that you're selecting the right disk that we want to install or flash um, the installer too because everything that's on the thumb drive is going to be erased so if you have more than one plugged into your computer or it lists other disks you want to just make sure that you're picking the right one so we're going to go ahead and click that because I only have one plugged into my computer at this time and then from here you're going to want to go ahead and enter your password for your computer 
and click OK and then it will start uh, writing the installer files to your USB drive and this process will take a little bit so we will come back as soon as it's done and we're back so once the uh, USB thumb drive is done being written uh, you will see this success message for your installer so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and then we want to return to the main menu so from here we're gonna click build and install open core and what this is gonna do is it's going to install the package on the thumb drive so it's bootable so we're gonna click build open core and then once that's done we're gonna click install open core here at the top and it's very critical at this point that we select the the right disk because this is going to list all of the hard drives that are in your uh, Mac Pro as well as any thumb drive that you have plugged in so you, it's very critical that you select the correct one and then this is just showing the EFI partition again type in your password and then click OK and from here it's going to load onto the thumb drive and so once that's done we'll see open core transfer complete like we see here so we can return to the main menu and then close out the open core legacy patcher software it's worth mentioning at this point if you planned to just upgrade from a previous version of mac os then you don't need to do anything but if you're going to wipe your hard drive and do a clean install then you're going to want to put a copy of the offline open core legacy patcher on a thumb drive so that you have that when we finish the installation to install any patches at the end. And then as long as your thumb drive is still plugged into your computer, we can go ahead and restart. Just make sure that after you hear the chime while your Mac Pro is restarting that you hold down the option key. And this is going to take us to our boot screen where we can select the right drive to boot from. If everything worked properly, you should be at a screen that looks similar to this. So we want to select the one that says EFI boot. So we're going to click the arrow underneath that. And then on this screen, we want to make sure we select install Mac OS Monterey. So we're going to go ahead and select that. And then it's going to go ahead and load into the installer application. Once the installer application loads, um, we have a couple of different options. So the first one is install Mac OS Monterey. So you're going to want to click that if you're just wanting to upgrade and you don't want any of your information to be lost. I will caveat with you should back up all information um, that you deem valuable prior to doing this in case something goes wrong and you end up having to format your hard drive because it didn't install right. <clears throat> I went ahead and did this, install Mac OS Monterey on my MacBook Pro that I have and I'm gonna go ahead and show you a clip of that real quick just to show you that it, it did work. One thing I wanted to mention was when I installed this on my MacBook Pro, since it has dual GPUs, it had a problem at startup where it would hang at this screen right here. And in order to resolve that, I had to hold Shift and Return or Enter uh, during the startup process to boot into safe mode. And then I had to go into the open core software and install the post installation patches uh, before it would actually load on its own. OpenCore has an entire troubleshooting section on their website, which I'll link below uh, for anybody else that runs into issues, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. Moving back over to the Mac Pro, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe my disk and then do a fresh install because I have Mac OS Catalina installed using DOS Dudes Patcher, and I don't want to try to install a patch over a patch if that makes sense so I've already backed up all my data before we started this video I'm gonna go ahead and erase my hard drive and then we're gonna go back and just do a clean install so from here I'm just gonna speed up the video for you guys Okay, so hopefully everybody made it this far and you had a successful installation of macOS Monterey 12.3, if that's what you chose to do like me. Um, so now what we need to do is go back in and open up the OpenCore Legacy Patcher. 
and <clears throat> there's a couple of things that we need to change while we're in there. So the first thing we're going to do once this opens up is we're going to go in to the settings and we're going to turn off a box that says show boot picker and what that's going to do is it's going to make it so when you turn your computer on you just see the Apple logo and it loads as opposed to going to a screen that looks similar to when you hold option down and boot your computer where you can see all the different drives. Once that's done then we're going to go back and we're going to build and install OpenCore again but this time when we install it we're going to install it to the hard drive that we just installed Mac OS Monterey on and this is going to allow you to boot your computer normally without having to have that thumb drive that we made. Once that's done we're going to return to the main menu and this time we're going to select post install root patch and then we're going to click start root patching it's going to ask us to restart the application uh, as root so that it can make these changes so you're going to type in your password and click OK and then the application is going to restart and from there we're going to go ahead and click post install root patch again and then we're going to click start root patching and what this is going to do is it's going to build um, all of the drivers that you need for your computer whether that's graphics, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, you name it whatever's no longer supported and then it's going to install those and once that completes we're going to need to reboot our machine in order for these to take effect so we're going to return to the main menu close out the open core legacy patcher software I'm going to eject my USB drive because I no longer need it and then we're going to restart our computer And we're back. So as you can see now, if we look in the uh, upper right hand corner, we have our Wi-Fi and we'll click on that and see if, there we go, that's my home Wi-Fi, so that worked. And overall, our uh, resolution's changed as you can probably tell from the video. Um, it's a lot higher resolution. It's actually higher than what my capture card can do, so it probably looks blurry to you guys. I apologize for that. But overall, everything is really smooth in comparison to how it was before because we didn't have any graphics acceleration. Uh, everything's buttery smooth. Uh, from here, I just want to show you guys real quick that we're on the same computer. So we'll go to About This Mac. And as you can see, it's the exact same one that we, we started this process on. And I'm running 12.3. And that is it. Uh, we made it to the end. Hopefully you guys had a smooth experience um, just like I did. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments how this went for you guys. See you in the next one. Peace.